Hi Kathy, you're welcome to my craft channel and today I'm going to do some more decoupaging of the fall candle holders. I figured being I had more I wanted to do, I might as well record it um, just for the heck of it, especially because I'm doing it two different ways. One being, I'm using this etched wine glass. It's got all different uh, grooves in it, and I'm going to see how it works with um, using tissue paper. It's a two-ply tissue paper that I bought packs of at the Dollar Tree, and I got these for doing the um, toilet paper roll pumpkins that I did in the other video. And being I had so many napkins left over, I used my paper punch, and I punched out these leaves. And they're so super thin, it'll be perfect, I'm get, I'm thinking, for this, being it's got the deep etching in it, it'll fall right in there very nicely. So I just punched out some of the napkins I had, some had prints, some didn't, and it, it'll give it a nice look. I'm even going to try my hand at the um, silk leaf, because one of the candle holders I did in the other video, I did use this on one side. One side had the tissue paper pumpkin, the other had a um, silk fall leaf, and it, it held on pretty nicely. So I'm going to start by using this short little lantern looking. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and I can't wait to see how this works with um, the fall leaves. I already went ahead and put some Mod Podge in a container. I use the let's see this is the glass luster i like it glossy the matte is okay if that's all they have but i always tend to go with the uh, glossy type oh by the way this this is the paper punch that i used to make these little fall leaves with i buy these because also i make decorations for making little embellishment for homemade cards see it's so cute I, you use this for so many things, and I got this like in the clearance section for under five bucks, and it long, bleh, normally goes for around twenty dollars. So, I got it really, really cheap. Anyhow, um, here we go. I'm gonna. This has been already cleaned up. I even though it's clean when I buy it, I like to wipe it down with a Windex rag or wash it with soap and water and dry it. Um, I tried to get the label off on the bottom, but it wouldn't come off. I could really get it off if I had the time, but I really didn't and I wanted to do this video. I could do that at another time. So for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by painting the Mod Podge over the um, glass like this. And then, try to get it on as much as I can. This will dry clear, by the way, just so you know. I'm gonna take a full, one of these leaves, it's a little maple leaf, and put it right, oops, right there, see? Just like that. Press it down with my finger. It goes into the grooves nicely, and it's gonna fall very naturally just by stroking the glue over it. It's under it and over it. I always feel better doing it um, on both sides. It stays good. The glue's cheap enough, so no reason to not have it stand. Now, you're not, you can't see it, but it, this looks all white. This is going to dry clear. In fact, you could probably see it through the other side a little bit. See that? So, it's all white now but that will dry beautifully we're not done yet we're going to put some more leaves going around i think this is so pretty i love everything about the fall the different colors and the trees i just love so much about it so i want the other leaf to be yellow because it's going to be yellow orange yellow orange alternating so I'm going to make sure the one directly behind it is, okay, that was orange. I'm going to do yellow. There we go. That's going to go on nicely. And 
things. I'm gonna get these painted up and we'll have to pick up tomorrow where we leave off with this because they need to dry unless if these dry and I'm able to record, I will. Okay, now. I'm going to keep this all the same texture. Okay, here's one of a different, it's got like a print on it. I'm going to glue over it. It's going to look nice when it's completely dry. Okay, now we're going to save this. When this is dry, it takes a completely different look. And especially when it's got the candle in it. Okay, so we have four leaves on it. Two with a print and two that are solid or three that are solid color. Um, okay, now what I want to do, why, before this dries, is do the uh, glitter. The iridescent. I got the white. It looks like snow. It's so pretty when it's done. Oh, when this dries, it's beautiful. And if you watched my other video, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to do this over at this little candy dish, which I'm going to make a craft out of. Just not today. Do it over that. Because I don't want to throw out anything left. I really don't want it to go on the floor, number one. Number two, I like to save. I love being able to save some of it if I can. Okay, so I have to do it this way. Here we go. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I love the sparkle. I better move this up. This is so pretty. Oh my God. Wait till you see this. And I might have to lower the light. Because I think it's taking away from the way the shadows are falling. Here we go. Can you see how that sparkles? Oh, let me go. Lower that and wait till you see this. Whoa. I don't know if you could see that better. The um, lighting. I'm not good with this stuff, guys, with the lighting. Let me try this a little darker. How's that? Is that look any? Thing is, is we're going to have to wait till tomorrow when this is dry or later on tonight if it's not too late. I'm going out to dinner in a little while and... Um, when I come back, this will more than likely be dry. And if I'm able to, you know, pick up at that point and record and finish off, I will. All right, so for now, I'm going to put this down to dry when we're done. When this is done drying, that's when I do the um, decorative embellishments like the ribbon, the bows. Then I put the candle in or whether it's the LED or a real candle. That will be done last. That's like the real fun part. So for now, I'm just going to put this down. I want to make sure I got that glitter on all sides. Looks like I did. This is going to dry clear. You'll see when it's all completely done later on. Okay, now I'm going to put this aside. Now I'm going to do the uh, wine glass real quick. All righty, put this down. Now the wine glass, I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves because this gift is going to two different people and I know one, at least one of those two people are going to want what the other one has on top of the one they have. So I'm flattered she loves my stuff but I have to always make sure she gets almost one of everything I make. Okay. I'm talking about my daughter, Kristen. Um, 
anyhow, here we go. I'm going to start painting the glue on. And see, there's all different, uh, how do I put it? It's, um, it's like it's carved glass. And I like using the tissue paper because it adheres better. It goes into the grooves of the glass the way it's supposed, that it's supposed to. There we go. There is a leaf. See how I'm painting it on there? The glue goes, I put the glue on the glass and then I put my leaf down or whatever I'm using. Doesn't have to be made of tissue paper. You can even take a picture of like say one of your kids and print it on your printer on regular paper and decoupage it on the glass and very easy to do. Anybody can do this. And um, that would look cute, really cute. Um, maybe that's something I could do in a, another segment. So we have this other side here. We're going to put another leaf on. We got one there so far. This will probably take about four, I'm guessing. And then we have to wait for this to dry before we could go any further. That was an orange color. This time I'm going to do yellow. I'm going to alternate back and forth. Here we go. It's falling nicely into the grooves. It takes nicely, very nicely. That's why you're better off with, um, for glass that's got etched grooves like that, the, the thinness of a tissue paper and how pliable and soft it is, it bends easily. And so you're better off with that type of a texture to work with for this particular type of glass. So now this next leaf, it's going to be orange because I just used yellow. There we go, put it on there like that. It's very delicate, so keep in mind if you pull it, it might tear. And if that should happen, you can always work around it. Everything's fixable and that's the beauty of doing stuff like this you can always paint over it glue it whatever there's always a way to fix it I'll probably get two more on here and then we'll have to pause this until these items are dry that we're going to put the uh, decorative finishes on and I like to do this again even though I already did this with um, with a, another video, it's good to show you different techniques and different types of glass you can use. Some people would never think to decoupage glass that has etching in it, but done with the right type of material, you can. It, it, it's, it's something you definitely can do. And if you use plenty of this glue, no reason why it shouldn't stay, because this is a very lightweight um, tissue. Two ply, and I made sure I pulled the uh, plies apart because it'll only end up bubbling up and peeling off. So you want to pull those plies apart. See, I have room for one more leaf. And like I said, this does dry clear. Hmm. We came up to orange and yellow. I wish I had a double colored one. I don't know if that'll show. I'll put the yellow one on. There we go. I love these colors and I put this in my house throughout the um, the summer it's a summer color and it works right into the fall that's what I love about these yellows and oranges they are so pretty okay so see we've got the leaves going around the glass with just enough of glue. I pour glue in as I need it, because once you pour it all out, you can't put it back in. So for that reason being, I make sure not to pour too much at once. I don't even like wasting that little bit. I hate wasting anything. 
as you see, I have my sparkles here. I'm going to try to use some of this. These are so pretty. And then we're going to put this down, and I'm going to have to wait for this to dry. In the meantime, I could get some other things ready for my next video. I'm going to do... Don't be afraid to shake that stuff and use it because you know what? You're holding it over something that's going to catch it and you can put it right back into the container. And it looks so pretty. Wait till you see that when it's all dry. Okay, we're going to put the video on. Stop for now. I'm going to pick up tomorrow or later on. I'm going to come back when this is dry. Oh, these came out pretty.